Hey everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Genghis. So Call of Dragons here, uh, kind of really getting into this game. There's a couple things I really like I wanted to show you. So one thing is with scouting. So I could click on here. This is my uh, my scout mine actually just before I do that. So I've got the Hall of Order up to, uh, so I'm not gonna upgrade the scout mine because I'm gonna use it here for the video. So I've got the Hall of Order up to 11 and we're trying to get up to 13 apparently that's the level where you can start to uh, raid people and get those easy resources especially from players that quit and the resources are just sitting there so anyways let's click on the scout hall and you can explore so i'm going to explore right there so he's marching and you don't have to actually do it from the tower you could do it from outside here too i could just click on the cloudy area and hit scout so awesome right really not that exciting but what else you can do you can click on your scout building and if you see all of these uh red icons that basically mean these are things that my uh scouts have found over time and i can go visit them so let's visit these ones and then it'll just uh give you stuff really so like right here i'll get to choose what do, this is science. So if I go into my uh, research building, academy and some other games, uh, science center, whatever it's called, this will just do one of these levels for me. So these are out of five and I can pick whichever one I want and I can either increase the marksman with defense. So basically increase their shield or whatever one level in the, in the academy, or I can increase legion wood gathering speed in the field. And I'm way more interested in the PvP stuff. And now it'll actually automatically send me to the next place. So I don't actually just have to keep going into my uh, scout building. So that just gave me some supplies. And it'll just keep sending me around. I'll show you my sciences, what I was talking about there. So what I basically got free there was one of these things. So right here, actually, this is exactly it. Marksman protection. You can see I did them all to one just to get to the next level. And that's now level two out of five. So pretty cool that you can just get free science and get it done. And that saves you lots of uh, speed up. So one of the things that I really like in this game that other games don't have, and it's super annoying, other games you have to just send. Some of you who are watching my video are going to know what I'm talking about. Scan, 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 look for a monster. Here you don't have to. I can go here and be like, I want to kill something level six. Okay, so let's kill something level six. It just finds it automatically. And then you could do preset marches, right? Like in most games. And I have mine set up here. I could adjust them a little bit because I've been making the higher level of the uh, Vestals. But those are basically wizards, mages, something like that. And I'm going to send them. But there's something really cool. I'm going to do something... Uh, I'm going to do another video on this after I play around with this a lot more and go over this uh, PvP aspect. So as they're marching, I'm just going to find a little bit of a lower level one and also start attacking that one. And I have another preset march as well. I just changed that same reason because I just started doing the higher level. But if you look at these ones, like, look, I can move these troops around to keep fighting so that they actually just defeated them. But I can move my troops on the battlefield. So I'm moving them there. So let's say I had long distance troops and then the enemy got a little bit too close. I could have my troops run away. Oh, guess I kind of lost control of the, uh, oh, I see what happened there. I had my better army on the field that was further away and is attacking them. So I'm still totally getting used to this. And here is my other army. Gonna get them involved too, why not, right? And uh, yeah, so anyways, kind of that just led into what I'm gonna be doing on the next video, which is uh, showing you how you can actually control the battlefield on this. I really like this. Like you can flank enemies, you can move around on the side. But something I really like, like look at this. These guys haven't returned home yet. Why? Because they don't have to. I could send them home, right? So I'll send, I'll send those troops home. But these other troops, they're still out there. 
here we found one let's uh just go after them awesome so why do i have to go home why can't i just keep walking around with my army and killing stuff that's something that i really really do like about this game so now as you see they're getting closer i'll show you a little bit here i can reposition my guys that's obviously not a good move because i don't want to get in close but uh let's shoot now there we go and they're done so that's it for today's video i'm really playing around with this new uh moving around on the battlefield being active while fighting because it's kind of new to me but i can see a lot of advantages to it i've also done some where you can uh gang up so i had three armies out at once and i just started moving them all in on one monster and it worked out good so kind of liking that and uh, i attached a little clip of it right here actually so you can see So right here, I'm on the battlefield, and I just finished the actual battle, and we're going to go in there. And you can see here, I'm actually taking all my armies in the field here and just having them gang up on this uh And that was me dropping my phone down the stairs. Uh, anyways, uh, hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.